Welcome or welcome back on any help at C squared. In this example, we have a rational inequality and we need to find a solution set and express it in the interval notation. So first of all, when you have something like that, you may want to get the factor form. So let's see, we are looking for the factor form of x squared minus x minus 2. That will be x minus 2, x plus 1. And let's look for the factor form of the denominator, x squared minus 4x plus 3. That will be x minus 3, x minus 1, greater than 0. And now we, we need to find uh, how this function behaves. But first of all, let's see what's happened to uh, some values. Right? If we take a look to the... Uh, Numerator, we have x equals 2 as a 0 and x equals negative 1 for this guy here. For the denominator, this guy, we're going to have x equals 3 and x equals 1. And I'm sorry, here was negative 1, right? So we're going to need to put this. Uh, four possible value in the table. So I'm going to start with uh, negative 1. In this moment, the numerator is 0, so the function is 0. The next one will be 1. In this moment, the denominator is 0, which means the rational expression f of x is undefined. Then we have uh, 2, which makes the numerator 0, which makes the whole rational expression uh, equals to 0. And the last one in this table will be 3, which makes the denominator 0, which means the rational expression is undefined. So you see we have five intervals here. We need to uh, find the sign for each interval. So I'm going to start with uh, the last one, the one here, a number larger than 3 is going to make x minus 2 positive, x plus 1 positive, x minus 3 will be positive, and x minus 1. All four are going to be positive numbers, so the outcome for this situation will be a positive number. So now we can move to the next interval number between 2 and 3. Let's see what the sign will be for our outcome. So a number between the, oh, 2 and 3 will make x minus 2 positive, x plus 1 positive, x minus 3. That will be a negative number, and x minus 1 will be a positive number. So looking to this situation, positive, positive, negative, positive, this will be a negative number. Now we can move to the next uh, situation, number between 1 and 2, and see how the sign will be. A number between 1 and 2 will make x minus 2 negative, x plus 1 will be positive, uh, x minus 3 will be a negative number, and x minus 1 will be a positive number. In this situation, negative and positive uh, will be a negative, negative and positive a negative, and the final outcome will be a positive number here. Uh, and we finish with this interval. Let's move to the next one. The next one, we look into numbers that are between negative 1 and 1. 0 will be a good one and easy to check if you want to do it. And we have x minus 2 will be a negative number, x plus 1 will be a positive number, um, x minus 3 will be a negative number, x minus 1 will be a negative number. So in this situation we have a negative outcome for the numerator, positive for the denominator, so the final answer will here be negative. Okay, And we have one more interval to check the sign that will be for numbers that are less than negative 1. 
that will be right here. So when we have a number like negative 2, x minus 2 because is negative, x plus 1 is negative, x minus 3 negative, and x minus 1 negative. So that will give us a positive outcome for the numerator, a positive outcome for the denominator, the final outcome will be positive number. So uh, that's the way I fill the table uh, using these sign rules. And now I'm going to look back to our problem which says uh, greater than uh, zero. Greater than zero that happens here, uh, here, and here. So let's write this solution set negative infinity, negative 1. Both of them parentheses is just greater than 0. There is no equal. 1 to 2, the same story. 3, infinity. We have 3 interval for which this uh, rational function is greater than 0, uh, which is the solution set for this rational inequality. And you can see that in the graphical approach, one interval, the second interval, and the third interval. In these moments, the function is over the x-axis. So that function is positive there. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.